Hey guys, Tech Venture, currently in Warsaw. Uh, nice weather today, not as rainy, no snow, which is always a good start to the day. So behind me here, we have the Lomniski Palace, which is uh, ran or owned, shall we say, by the Radgwil family. Uh, it runs back to about the 18th century. Uh, wouldn't say it'd be for me to actually live there. It's a nice building. Thought I'd give you guys a little tour and showcase of what it is. Um, just a little something to add in with Sinan on the journey. Ironically, our building that we're staying in is this Soviet tower block that I think runs back to the 50s. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're about the 13th floor up. So doesn't look, doesn't look much from the, uh, the outside. Nice building uh, on the inside, I should say. Uh, has the old school open outdoors as well. Uh, definitely has some soviet features like a little shop at the bottom um but yes yeah, so i thought i'd show you kind of show you guys that of where we are right now i'm going to do some more uh stops along the day uh, throughout the day should i say um and make some content so this is just a little snippet of the beginning and uh i'll show you this little i don't even know what this is actually so we're about to find out together uh christian's just going to find a rose so he's gonna put that back see he's doing good deeds so the, uh, I know from the from the uh, in the front is the old Soviet Union with the eagle, um, and obviously I think it's the world underneath it, um, and any other statue that's there I have no idea. So if anyone on this watches this video and has an idea, feel free to leave me a comment. I always like learning new things. So we're currently in one of the many parks of Warsaw. We've just had some poroski, which was very nice for lunch. Um, very cheap as well, I think it was like 16 pounds for two plates of poroski, uh, uh, Irish coffee and a can of Coke. So that was quite cheap, I enjoyed that. That was very nice lunch, I think we needed it after last night. We uh, we went out and enjoyed the, uh, the festivities of the old town of uh, Warsaw. But the point of this little video is to show you guys this castle or palace I'd probably call it a castle to be fair even though it's very different to what I suppose I would expect a castle to look like um, it's called the Yudazgo Yudjazdo castle my Polish is very bad so I'm sure somebody will laugh at this when it gets released um, but here it is in front of us now so so I give you give you guys like a little bit of sort of background on it so uh, it's actually in the Royal Baths Park which is a uh, the Led Ledoski, I think it is, uh, park, which is just to the right of us, which we're gonna head to afterwards. Um, runs back to about the 13th century. Um, it's been destroyed many times over the centuries. Um, also was uh, severely damaged and rebuilt after the uh, Warsaw Uprising back in 1944 to do with the Second World War. Um, we'll put a little bit of uh, insight into that in the description of the video, just for anyone who's interested in World War II and what actually took place in the Warsaw Uprising. Um, it now actually is the uh, Contemporary Arts, um, I suppose, museum would we call it, or palace. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful building. I love the green roof. Um, it's a little bit different. It's not like your average, I suppose, castle. Um, massive building, would love to go inside. Um, but I haven't really got the time today, unfortunately, to go and, and view some contemporary arts. Um, but yeah, a nice, a nice spot. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd give you guys a little insight into that. Um, at the moment, yeah, just a little bit of rain here as well, so I'm trying to be careful of the camera. Um, but yeah, I'll add this into some other shots and videos I get going around the uh, the Royal Bass Park in a minute. So, peace guys. So, currently walking through the Royal Bass Park. Uh, came across this beautiful little Chinese garden, which I think is pretty cool. The colors don't actually do it justice on this camera and you've just got Christian there trying to become photographer of the year so enjoy that uh, there's a museum just back there haven't actually gone over there yet uh, there's a cool building that I'm going to try and get a photo of that's like through these trees here but I actually am trying to get over to a palace that's just over there um, once we've start, like, finished taking photos so that'll be fun um, one of the things I think I wanted to say while I was here that I haven't actually said yet is that one of the rules of Warsaw that Christian and I found out about was that every day of the week, uh, it's kind of a law to make one of the museums free, or it has to be at least a museum a day that's free. Um, so we, we managed to go to one yesterday, 
the Royal Museum of Warsaw. Uh, anyone who's got me on Instagram would have saw a few photos from there. Did actually try to record in there, got a little bit of content, um, got a bit of aggro for my camera being out, my bag being off my back. Um, so Christian had a good laugh at me for that. Um, but yeah, so I'll put some content of that in, in a, like sort of a, a montage video or something in due course. Um, but it was quite funny to be fair um, and then Monday we went to the Uprising Museum which I think I'd recommend to anyone coming to Warsaw to go and see the uh, the, the Warsaw Uprising Museum um, really really insightful gives you a good in understanding of of what the city of Warsaw and the people have been through especially at the end of World War Two uh, kind of makes you appreciate the architecture a lot more as well there's a there's a mix of sort of like 50s Soviet uh, sort of post World War Two era buildings that when the Russians took over um obviously built um and then there's obviously the modern like the business district that's in uh the center of warsaw and stuff so that's really good and i enjoyed or have enjoyed seeing that should i say um so i think right now we're going to shoot over find this palace i'll do a little video and and tell you guys a little more, bit more about that but quickly before I, I i end this video i just want to show you how big this park is it's i think it's the biggest park in warsaw if i'm correct like something like 56 hectares i don't know what that comes to in like square feet and stuff but as you can see down this path, it just goes for miles and miles and miles. Um, and we've just come up from down there, which we've probably walked about half a mile. So you can kind of get an understanding of how big this place is. I mean, there's buildings almost at every turn. There's museums. There's little pieces of artwork here on the side, which I think is quite cool. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, currently at Lezinski Palace. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, also known as the Palace on the Isle, purely because it is surrounded by water. So around us here at the front is obviously a massive pond and the same for at the back uh, but this is the actual palace itself uh, so it runs back to the end of the 16th century um, took I think about eight or nine years to build um, it was obviously a, magnif a magnificent building uh, has been around obviously in the Polish royal family for a while uh, I think one of the main things I would say about it is that it's actually a neoclassical build for that generation or that I suppose that century is actually quite unique um, it was actually bought by Augustus, um, a, a king of Augustus, I can't remember the last name and it's in Polish so my pronunciation would be terrible at the best. Um, he purchased it um, and built a, an English royal garden which is obviously a part of the grounds that we're on, uh, which are very nice. Um, and in the second world war the Germans destroyed the interior um, with plans to destruct, uh, to deconstruct the whole building. Luckily enough they never succeeded. Um, and it has obviously been restored to its former glory and it looks magnificent. Um, today is actually a museum. Um, there's a lot of kids here, Polish school trip in front of us, I believe, because it's one of the free ones of the day, as I was saying. Um, so I thought I'd just give you guys a little insight of the grounds around us. Um, so I'll add a little background in and I'll take a video of the other side of this palace because it is just as magnificent on the back as it is the front. Um, so yeah obviously that is a big lake in front of us clearly um the birds are just there chilling having a, a meeting on the frozen ice so it's just, it kind of gives an indication of how cold it is um lots of cool uh like sculptures with two seagulls sitting on them there um so yeah i think that's all really i have to report on the lezinski palace um don't plan to go inside today would deco recommend coming to do it if you are ever in warsaw um without me actually knowing um but like I say, it's a beautiful piece of architecture. Uh, I think it, it stands out very nicely and I love the little bits of gold. It gives it a bit of class. Um, and then we've got a sculpture here. I don't actually know what this sculpture is trying to do. I'm sure people will look at it and laugh because to be fair, I have no indication of what it is. Um, but yeah, I'll add some more in a bit. So we are currently walking away from Lozinski Palace where I've just shot a little video just to show you guys a palace to do with the Polish sort of history and the buildings that are here and have been here for obviously many centuries. Uh, Christian spotted this, this, I'm not even going to pretend to know what it is, this, this piece of, I suppose, architecture. Um, looks pretty cool, don't actually know what it is, tried to find it to give you guys an insight. Found absolutely nothing, so maybe it's just not on, on the maps to give you an insight. If anyone does watch this video and know exactly what this is, I'd love to hear what it is and what it's about. Um, but I'll give you guys a little, a little show and tell, well, I'm giving myself one as well. Um, but yeah, it looks like... As Christian said behind me, it looks a little bit like, would you say, like a Colosseum kind of vibe? Yeah, it's got the Colosseum kind of vibe. Um, so I'll give you guys a little tour. Maybe it used to be like a theatre, maybe? A stage? Yeah, I think, we're, I think I'm on the right track with that. Um, so it looks like a massive stage. Um, there is some writing around it, it's in Polish. So unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to give you much insight other than what I'm saying as we, uh, we walk and talk. But yeah, it's a nice piece of 
architecture. So it's, it's a shame that bits of it are quite badly ruined. Um, but it's a beautiful little thing. And then over there is where I've just been shooting some content with the school kids of Poland, or of Warsaw, shall we say. Uh, Christian's just currently becoming photographer of the year again up there. So, I mean, yeah, I'll have a little walk up once he's taken a photo, see if there's a nice view. Um, so, yeah, obviously, I'm guessing this would have been somewhere where the, uh, the residents of Warsaw would have sat and watched maybe a theatre play or maybe a summer, a summer, a summer classical. Um, but, yeah, I mean, quite incredible, really, isn't it? Like, a beautiful little piece of history that just lies here. Surrounded by water as well, so I can imagine in the summer months, it's just very sunny, it's peaceful. It's obviously got a lot of vibe to it, which we like. We love a good vibe. I'm going to try and go as high as I can here. Um, and see what we can hold. We've got maybe that's for the, the people who don't pay their tickets. There's a gate and a cell down there, I think, by the look of it. So I'm just gonna have a little walk up now, see how far we can go. So I don't think I can go. So, yeah, you kind of get the impression of what it was like. Um, obviously, it's a bit wet here today, it's been raining this morning. Um, so I don't think I'd want to be sitting down um, right now. But if it was a nice summer's day, I wouldn't mind coming taking a seat and just enjoying the views. Um, one of the things I will say is, I think this city will, will look very dull on a lot of my uh, my footage because of the, because of the lack of colour. Um, I would like to add that it's a beautiful city, it's very colourful. Um, and also I wouldn't let, let the winter months affect how you think of it, um, purely because although it's a little bit chilly and you could probably do with some winter clothes and some gloves and thermals, um, it is a beautiful city, there is a lot of city to see. It's a city full of history and culture. And if you're into any of those sort of things when traveling, I would definitely recommend coming and maybe taking two days to come and see the sites and explore and uh, come and meet some of the, I'm guessing Greek gods or maybe Polish gods, I might be wrong on that. As I said, there is no writing here. So it is literally just a, a guess and tell sort of scenario here. Or as I like to say, just wing it as we go. So yeah. A beautiful little piece of hidden architecture that I didn't actually know was here. So, you know, they're always the best kind of contents when you uh, you find things that you were not expecting to see. And I always think that that's one of the beauties of traveling. I think we were saying this, me and Christian earlier about walking and just finding things, just, just, just not necessarily having a massive plan, kind of having an idea of where you want to be and what you want to see. Um, but yeah, I think that's what we've done today. And so far we've had some fun. We had some nice Poroski for lunch. Um, and that was good fun. Uh, we took a walk through the park. I mean, this park is absolutely massive. We could be here for hours. Um, but obviously, we'll find a few more sort of hot spots. We'll shoot some more videos and we'll make it into a, a Royals Bath Park video. I think that'll make a good vlog, uh, show you guys what it's like here. Uh, and obviously, hopefully you enjoy the content when it comes out in a few weeks time when I've had time to edit and uh, make, it, make it look more glamorous. So yeah. Hey guys, Tech Venture again still in the Royal Baths Park in Warsaw and currently behind me just there is the Frederick uh, Chaplin statue which will look better when I get close up in a second uh, so this was a statue that was actually uh, I think first designed in the 18 early 1800s uh, well, no 1900s sorry I take that back um, this statue was obviously meant to be uh, 100 years commiseration of Frederick uh, Chaplin um, and was meant to actually be, I suppose, erected onto the stand where it is in front of us uh, in 1910. But by that point, the First World War had started and that meant that although the design of this had already been created, it didn't actually find its position here in the Royal Bass Park until 1926. Um, beautiful statue. Uh, I've seen some amazing photos of this uh, in the summer. I think the backdrop probably doesn't do this any good, but I will show you guys anyway. So here we are. So. It is a, a creative statue. Um, and yeah, I mean, the park here is beautiful. You know me, I love green spaces. Uh, it is very green, even in the middle of winter. Um, and there is a, a, literally a castle slash palace on every corner of this park. I mean, we've been here for hours and we've probably done half of it, if that here. Um, the rain is about to start coming down, as you can kind of tell by my hood and there is some splots on the camera lens, I think. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be the last stop for the Royal Baths tour and add that into the content. Um, I think it's really nice. I think with a nice sunny day, I think it would do that would do this camera so much more justice. But that is yet yeah, the Frederick Chaplin uh, statue. 
Um, I'll add a little bit in the description about who Fre Frederick Chaplin was, give you guys some education, um, and I'll probably learn another thing or two when I'm doing that. So just for it's something to see, um, to part of the uh, the park tour, should we call it, we've created today. Um, but yeah, that is the Frederick Chaplin statue.